Good afternoon, good afternoon, people of God. This is Dr. DeWanda Owens. I am coming to you live for uh, my nugget for today. Um, I apologize for being late, uh, being delayed. I had a few errands to run and um, I'm still have not completed all of my errands. But I wanted to ca uh, come on live and talk to us regarding our mental health. And the word God gave me today is accountability. We cannot hold other people accountable for what we should be accountable for. It is up to us to be accountable for our own health, uh, for our mental health. Um, mentally, our mental health is our responsibility. And so, so often we, we will hold our uh, practitioners responsible for our uh, mental health. We'll hold our families responsible. We'll even hold situations and conditions that we've been through. We'll hold that accountable for our own mental health. But I challenge you today to accept accountability for you. And when I say accountability for you, I mean the entire you. Accept accountability that whenever there is something wrong in your body, you see about yourself. Uh, whenever there is something uh, unusual going on, you hold yourself accountable to look into it. Uh, we cannot hold other people accountable for things that we should be accountable for. We can't hold people accountable to things that we are not accountable to. And so God began to deal with me a day today about uh, our mental health and accountability. He says, I'm holding you accountable to know when something is off with you. I'm holding you accountable to know when you need to seek professional help beyond you and your and your um, your arena, your so circle of people. I'm holding you accountable to say it's me. It's me that needs some assistance in the assistance that I need. I have got to seek and, 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 and obtain that on my own. So today I wanted to drop that nugget to you because mental health matters. Mental health matters. And sometimes our mental health goes unnourished, unnurtured, and un, um, unsought about. And so God began to tell me today that even now, we should hold ourselves accountable for our mental health. So that means that if you need it, seek it. Get what you need. There is a lot of stigma, you know, in the community around mental health, but mental health is not always uh, your choice. Most of the time, mental health is something that chooses you. And whether it was your choice or it chose you, you have to make a, a, a conscious decision today to hold yourself accountable to do something about it. Don't allow a, a, a abusive marriage Hallelujah, hold you to an uneasy or an un, um, how would I say, a unproductive, in an unproductive relationship. Don't let um, uh, abuse and, and, and uh, the standards that the community holds you to uh, put you in a place where you are a, a prisoner to your condition and your situation. I, I challenge you today uh, as, as, as I would want anyone to challenge me. Be accountable for you. Be accountable for your mental health. Be accountable for your status and choose you. I always got to go back to choose you. We choose everybody else. We choose their happiness. We choose what they need. We choose servitude. We choose everything concerning everybody else. Today, God says, choose you. Choose you. Self-preservation. Choose you. Make your mind up that you're going to do what's best for you. You're going to seek help for you, no matter what people say, believe, or what, what the chatter is about. Choose you. And when you choose, you hold your account, yourself accountable to you. Nobody's going to be accountable to you like you would be accountable to you. Nobody's going to seek the help that you need for you like you would because you know yourself better than hallelujah, anybody else. So I wanted to drop that nugget today about accountability, about the help that we need, about the mental health. Sometimes mental health is it, 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 triggered by situations. 
Um, sometimes it's triggered by the conditions of our, our body on the inside. Sometimes uh, we find ourselves in a place that is, um, it's, we find ourselves comfortable in a place that we should never, never get comfortable in. We find ourselves making things that are not right, making them right in order for us to be able to cope. Whatever your coping mechanism is, if it's not going to give you deliverance and true assistance, true breakthroughs, uh, put you in a position where you can overcome it, not just survive it, but overcome it, make some changes. Choose you today. Today I choose me. I'm here at one of my grandson's uh, uh, birthday parties. Uh, the name of the place is Jump and Jive. It's somewhere, it says Prairieville, Louisiana. But I chose to be here. I chose to see the smile on his face when he saw me. And so I choose me. And it's okay. Don't feel guilty about choosing you because you are important. You matter. Choose you. Get your hair done. Go and do something good for you. Get your feet done. Get your nails done. Get your hair cut. Buy something you want. Take you off of the back and put you on the front. Unshelf yourself because a lot of us shelf what we what we desire and what we want to do and we shelf it until we can take it down and do something. We start working on other people's things while we put ours on the shelf. But I, I hold you accountable today. Take you off the shelf. Be accountable for you. God is working. He's working in your life. Pray and let him work. Make changes and let him work. Be accountable to you and let him work. I certainly hope that these um, nuggets that I am sharing every day um, will help someone. Because in my prayer and meditation time, I have to be challenged to keep myself mentally healthy. And in my mental health process of being healthy, I want to see everybody else around me healthy. Healthy people help healthy people. Happy people beget happy people. You surround yourself with a bunch of unhappy people, you're going to tick tag off of that and you'll be unhappy too. But I, ch I challenge you today to be accountable to you for your happiness, your true freedom and liberation, because God is working in your life. God bless you.